Welcome back to DINFO Time. In this video we'll explore the top 5 Indian defense news of the week. Before we start, if would like to know the latest news on news on Indian defense, please subscribe to DINFO Time to get notified. Policy switch TO make full fighter jets in India, not content with piecemeal make in India initiatives in its defense procurement, the Union government has made a policy switch to buy as many as 114 multi-role fighter aircraft MRFA, only from a vendor who is ready to set up a manufacturing unit in India for the entire aircraft. It also wants transfer of technology and full production in India in a joint venture with a local partner, a new global tender incorporating these conditions is likely to be floated soon. The radical shift in policy is expected to delay the MRFA acquisition further. Approximately valued at $20 billion, the MRCA is said to be one of the world's biggest defense deals in recent times. Funding shortfall delay Archer NG male UAV development, India's development of the much-awaited Archer NG UAV has hit a roadblock due to lack of funds. This news comes almost a year after the Aeronautical Development Establishment ADE, presented the Archer NG in late 2022. The ADE was ready to get new funds to start ordering important parts for the Archer NG, but this was delayed because of a program review triggered by problems with the Tapas UAV. The Tapas did not meet the Indian Armed Forces requirements for endurance and cruising altitude. According to the source, this situation suggests that the future of the Archer NG depends on the success of the ongoing improvements to the Tapas. If the Tapas program makes the needed advancements, it could lead to funding approval and the start of the Archer NG's tendering process. Adani Defense Aerospace joins the race to manufacture 70mm rockets in India. In a major boost for India's defense sector, Adani Defense Aerospace has signed an agreement with Thales Group to manufacture 70mm rockets locally. This strategic collaboration aligns with the Indian government's Make in India initiative, aiming to enhance self-reliance in defense production. Not only is this partnership significant for our commitment to India, but it also allows us to strengthen our partner network worldwide, the Thales Group said in a post on X, earlier known as Twitter. These 70mm rockets are light, compact, and easy to maneuver, making them perfect for use on helicopters in both day and night missions. They can strike targets with precision at distances from 1.5 meters to 7 kilometers. Indian Army set to receive 25 remote-controlled mule robotic dogs into its fold. The Indian Army is preparing to integrate its first batch of robotic mules, multi-utility legged equipment, designed to resemble dogs. These advanced machines will be used for surveillance and to transport light loads across challenging terrains, according to sources within the defense establishment, a September 2023 emergency procurement order secured 100 of these robotic companions. A pre-dispatch inspection of the first 25 mules has been completed, paving the way for their imminent induction into the army, the emergency procurement process, allowing contracts up to 300 rupees crore, explains the initial small-scale deployment. However, successful performance will likely lead to a much larger procurement order. Indian military enhanced the soldier strength with passive exoskeleton. The Indian military is enhancing soldier capabilities by buying passive exoskeletons from Nundra Innovations, a company in Rajasthan. These exoskeletons, called Jaipur Belt and Arm Max, help soldiers work better, last longer, and avoid injuries. Jaipur Belt supports a soldier's back and spine, while Arm Max supports the back, spine, and arms, said Ganesh Ram Jangar, CEO of Nundra Innovations. These exoskeletons can increase a soldier's ability to carry weight by 5 to 35 kilograms, depending on the specific needs of the operation, they offer significant benefits for various military applications, including handling heavy ammunition, loading and unloading supplies, and carrying equipment over long distances.